So Flux has been released, I've been playing around with it, and here's some of the things that I really love. If you haven't heard about Livewire Flux, it is the Livewire UI. So a component library specifically built for Livewire by the creator of Livewire and Alpine, as well as a hired designer, Hugo, who helped build all of this, who helped design it and build it specifically for web standards and for accessibility standards. And there's a lot that went into this and all of the pricing controversy and launch and everything behind it. There's some great things. And yes, the docs kind of give you a little bit of look behind the curtain, if you will. There's some free components. So the button drop down icon separator and tooltip are all free. I've always wanted to build a starter kit for myself of like, hey, I'm doing a new demo or I'm making a new video. Most of the time I'm using Livewire, most of the time I'm using Volt currently. It'd be nice to have something looking nice and currently it's just been, okay, let me just spin up Livewire or Laravel Breeze. Uh, but now I can do, make things a little bit nicer and that's what I have here. So this is my own implementation of basically Laravel Breeze, but with Flux, Volt, and Folio. And so I wanted to show off a little bit of what I've done so far and give maybe some things that I found with Flux that's incredibly nice, as well as just some tips with Volt and Folio that I really enjoy as well. So the cool thing with Flux is that, and it's, this isn't really mentioned that much in the docs, but I really love this part about it. So if I was to pull up, let's say the login page, I'm just using, I'm basically just pulled a bunch of stuff from Laravel Breeze and just implemented it within Flux with Volt and with Folio. So all of this is just page-based routing. You see here we have an index that is basically the dashboard page. Um, and it redirects since it has middleware to the login. So I'm using class-based Volt components uh, with the Flux components itself. So if you see here and the input for, let's just say input for email, it just has wire model form email. That's the login form for app live wire forms login form. So it just has a wire model form dot email. There's no error page or anything like that. And Flux handles all that. So if I was to say blank at, and then do this login, not gonna have me do that, but uh, these credentials don't match records. That's a error on the email itself, but I didn't have to do all of this. And it works the same with a password as well. For example, if I was to create a new account and I was saying josh at josh.com, if I was to have a different confirmed password, all of this is just kind of baked into the inputs of Flux. So on register, if we take a look here, I just have Flux input, password, wire model, and uh, wire model password confirmation. But all of the validation is being pushed to those inputs and it's, be, and it's handling it with these nice error handling itself. So that's one thing that I want to kind of like make a note on. I'm gonna zoom out here to show something else that's really neat that I, that's kind of like a feature of Livewire Volt, just Livewire itself, Flux, and then just something cool that I did. So in Breeze, all of the statuses is in session. So if I want to forget password, and I'm saying josh at siri.com, email password reset link, well, I don't have that user, uh, email password reset link, I'm using Flux, um, toasts down here to show any kind of like confirmations or anything like that. So if we were to go into reset password or forgot password, we're just showing this flux toast with the status. Now here's the really cool thing. If I was to pull open the email right here, and I'm just going to open this up in the browser. Now I'm going to input a new password, testing, password, testing, password. Within Laravel Breeze, what happens here is when I click reset password, it's going to reset, push to something to the session. And then on the login page, we're just going to check if something's in the session and show that status just in a little component. And yeah, you could do that. But with Flux Toasts, you could just show a toast. But if I click reset password. Okay, your password's being reset. We're back in the login page. 
we changed pages, but we're still showing a toast, well, that's where Livewire Persist can come into handy. So I have uh, app layout where I have this flux toast. I'm just saying we're persisting this. And actually I have an auth layout as well that also persists the same toast. So if I'm in one layout and I'm showing a toast, even if we're changing pages, that toast is still going to stay there until it fades away. This is really, this comes really in handy if I'm saying let's log in. And so now I'm in a different layout. Log out here, so I have a playground, home, everything's really snappy. We have a profile page I kind of used to borrow some ideas from Laravel Breeze. But if I want to delete an account, okay, it's a modal, I'm inputting my password. I'm in one app layout, but I'm pushing to the login page when I delete an account. So I can show, show a modal, but because I'm persisting it and it's the same persisted component across two layouts, we'll be able to see that toast. Really neat, huh? Um, that is one thing that I'm, I really love. So the toasts is really neat. And just like with Folio and persisting within Volt, I think it just looks really clean. It's something that I have been loving. It's like this magic of Folio where I just have everything on one page and can you just use Blade until I need logic and then I can just wrap it in this Volt tag. Um, as well as the input fields that just have all that wrapped up together in one within flux has been awesome like this didn't take me that long to kind of uh put together of saying okay i have all these pages i again the only thing i don't have is like validate email like those types of pages but all like the password reset and verification the profile pages all of this is like 90 percent of what comes out of the box with Breeze, and I just ported it over to Folio, Volt, and Flux. And this is what I use most of the time to start setting up a new demo or a new video. It's nice to have login, so things are saved to a particular user in the database. If I was creating like a to-dos, for example, or you know new emails or anything like that, I have users to play with. But now I can just do in the playground for example, now I just have information that I, or things that I could do. For example, let's just create a new flux button and say, hi there. And right here, now I just have all of this ready to go. Say hi, I'm gonna just say this message is hello there. Okay, really quick, but all of a sudden we have, you know, this built out. I have a playground ready to go. And that's usually what I say within most of the videos that I, that I do the ability to have things like this ready to go, have a page where I can put things on it and have nice buttons out of the box and inputs and things of that nature to be able to have all this just ready for me. And that's what I am going to love about this kind of build up. And I'm gonna probably add a little bit more opinions into this of things I like, things I don't like, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I'm loving it so far oh, one more thing that's really interesting and i'm going to uh like maybe mess around with different ways of doing this but one thing that's really cool is let's say you have a long running function or method that exists say you wanted to you know it creates a new csv for example well now within laravel you could just put all that within a defer function so that way the user doesn't have to wait and we can show a uh we can show a toast right away so we could put in the you know we could put in the sleep right here and not have to worry about showing that to the user okay that's all great but let's say you did have a long running function um, what we could do let's say you wanted to show the user that this is actually working well there is a loading component basically icon is loading for a button you just have this here so you can kind of wire all that up and there might be some better ways of doing this in the future but one neat thing about this is instead of saying wire click we're just going to say type is submit i can push a button and most of the time you probably have this within a form you don't just have a button to do this maybe you have a form or modal i can push this into a form wire submit is say hi 
and then form here. And so we have this type of submit. Flux automatically, because it's a submit button, is going to disable this button when I click hi there. So it's disabled while the function, the method is running. Really neat stuff. I, I didn't refresh, so it kind of went away there. But really neat stuff to be able to you know, have this easy disclaimer or this easy visual representation to the user that something is happening. Something is happening behind the scenes. And all I did was just push this flux button into a form. Now again, uh, maybe in the future there's a way of putting something like uh, loading equals say hi or something like that, which would be nice. That's not the case. But so many small things, I've only played around with 20% of the Flux components in building all this out, but so many things that just make Flux a no-brainer for me personally, because not only can I play around with this within my own you know, demos, videos, and personal projects, but now I just have a great starting point for any new projects that I'm going to build or new client work that I'm doing, whatever that might be. I just love the ability to do stuff like this. It makes building easier. It makes creating easier. So keep building, keep creating.